championship trophy and now the 1990 world championship trophy and as you know by winning this championship the Detroit Pistons became only the third franchise in the history of the NBA to win back-to-back -back titles and you don't think there's ever going to be any thrill to equal that first championship but it was interesting I, I talked to Isaiah Thomas after the first one he said the thing that will stay with him longer than anything will be the parade downtown where half a million people came out to celebrate that Pistons victory and then going back out to the palace a year ago where 20,000 people were there for a rally that uh, may never be equaled. He said, if that's not enough to motivate you and to make you try and get back and do it one more time, I don't know what will. And of course, motivation is exactly what the Pistons needed last year because 82 times in that regular season, they were going to be playing a game with playoff intensity because everybody wants to beat the champions. And after making it through a, an arduous regular season and then four grueling rounds of the playoffs, to emerge with another championship and another chance at uh, one of these trophies, I don't think there's a thrill to equal that. You know, a year ago, a sportscaster made the observation that there'll be a lot of championships uh, that other teams may enjoy in the future here in Detroit, but there'll never be a rally or a celebration to equal what happened at the Palace that day. And we didn't think so either, at least not until this year. We invite you now to sit back, relive part of that 1990 season with us again, go back downtown for that parade, and enjoy a rally, and you be the judge. We think it was bigger and better than ever. Thanks for all your support. Seven-tenths of a second. There's the shot, and the game's over, and the Pistons have won the world championship. Back to back.
Sally on the break, driving and dunking on Ewing, counted in a foul. Kumar's on the perimeter, slapped away by Ewing, he'll get it back. Clock at five, now four, in the corner to Isaiah. Clock at three, triple try, yes! The Pistons by nine, five triples for Isaiah. The Knicks trap Joe, he'll cross court to Lambeer. Inside, 10 seconds left. The Pistons are on their way back to the Eastern Conference Finals for the fourth straight year. Detroit, led by Joe Dumars, has reclaimed the lead. Nothing but another world championship will do. Once again, Portland is missing. No offensive rebounds since the first quarter. Detroit has had a lot to do with that. Thomas again for three. Time. Thomas with a long lead shot hits it and still a lot of time and Portland calls a timeout. It's 112 to 109. One second to go. Young fires a three. It does. Does it count? It does. It does. Now watch this. Here we go. You see they jumped out of bounds. It They're doesn't count. It doesn't count. The Detroit wins it. The pass. Here we have there. He takes one bounce and he shoots. All right, the ball no definitely way. did not leave his hand. You have the zeros on the clock. And the Detroit Pistons now lead 3-1. to one. Pick him up. There's the pick out. Vinny Johnson with one second to go. His shot is good. With ten, seven tenths of a second. Time out, Portland. Seven tenths of a second. There's the shot. And the game's over. And the Pistons have won the world championship. Back to back. Detroit Pistons repeat world champions.
and gentlemen, introducing your 1990 NBA World Champions! The Number 33, David Greenwood. <laughs> Number 12, Gerald. Double zero, William Bedford. <laughs> Number thirty five. Number 23, Mark O'Quire! Number 22, John Spider Sally. Ladies and gentlemen, should I say 007, hey who, DJ or 15, Vinny Johnson! <laughs> Number 53. James Buda Edwards. <laughs> the number one bad boy, number 40 from Notre Dame. Play 
and overpay the word number 10, Dennis The one we love to say, number four, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, the guts, the glory, the captain, the MVP, number 11, Isaiah Thomas! Ladies and gentlemen, the strength and the friend, Coach Chuck Daly! Ladies and gentlemen, your 1990 world champion, Detroit Pistons. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the voice of the world champion Detroit Pistons, George Blaha. Thank you, Ken Calvert. You are indeed a sixth man on the sidelines for this world championship team. The best in the league. Fans, this is home, and you are family. You are the best fans anywhere in the world. And now, I want to bring up to the microphone Michigan's biggest Piston fan from Lansing, Jim Blanchard. George, thank you. I think, um, I think it's fair to say that in the state of Michigan, we have the greatest fans of all. And no team, at no time has any team ever lived up to all the expectations of our fans. More than that, every game, every play, so on behalf of all of the fans of Michigan, to the team that the first time in almost 40 years, the only team in Michigan in almost 40 years to win back-to-back -back world champions. I 
I'd like to call up managing partner Bill Davidson. Come on up, Bill. General Manager Jack McCloskey. Jack, come on up. Coach Chuck Daly, the greatest coach in all of basketball. And representing the players, the spirit of Michigan, Captain Isaiah Thomas. The gratitude of Piston fans everywhere, especially in Michigan, today and this week is Detroit Pistons Week in Michigan, but it will be known as 1990, the year of the Pistons. Thanks. Thank you, Governor Blanchard. And now, an owner who truly deserves this championship, and last year's certainly too. The man whose vision put the Pistons into round ball one and also put them in this palace fit for the kings of basketball. Let's bring up again Piston owner Bill Davidson. I know he loves you people out there. As the, the Pistons and all the Piston uh, management, uh, the palace, uh, we've been dedicated to improving as much as we can each year. And I think you all know we've done a pretty good job. Next year, we're dedicated to improve a little more and hopefully come back with our three B. But as good as we've done, you, the fans, have improved many, many more times than we have and we dedicate the next season to you. Thank you. You know, just over 10 years ago, that man turned over his basketball building blocks, his basketball team, to a basketball man named Jack McCloskey. And the rest, as they say, is history. Here's basketball's best general manager, Jack McCloskey. <laughs> 